<laughs> I was out buying tubing for my tube style guillotine tool. This is a version of guillotine tool that I've been using a lot lately. The tube on this one is extruded, but on the tubes I just bought, they have a welded seam. I couldn't find any of this better extruded stuff, plus the price is much higher. Here's another version of guillotine tool that I used to sell in the past, and I still use my own occasionally. And here's yet another. This one has an unwelded frame. It has drilled holes that are threaded with bolts. This may be my favorite version, and I use this one all the time. I use 1050 medium carbon for the dies, and I've noticed over the years there's a lot of inconsistency. The die in the tube guillotine version has mushroomed pretty badly, whereas this one, that I've used much longer, hasn't shown any wear or tear. So the new tubing is just a little bit thinner, and it's a larger interior size, so the dies are bigger. On this very latest version, the dies are three quarter inches thick by about an inch and three quarters wide. Also, I've had a lot of radius machined on the striking end of these dies. The die sets that I include with this are fuller, flat, and mating V die sets. The reason the first half of this video is sort of like an infomercial for this tool is because I have a few of these left, about four, and once I sell them, that's it. I'm not going to do this again. The price, which includes the shipping, is about $135, and that's pretty close to my cost. If you're interested, send me an email. So here's mine with the hardy shank welded on. And I've dressed the dies and just need to heat treat them. Like I said, over the years, medium carbon steel has been pretty inconsistent for me. And I think this is partially due to the carbon requirements for medium carbon or the range of carbon that can be within medium carbon and still call it that. So I found a conservative heat treat to be the best option for medium carbon. Heat it to critical and quench it in warm water and pull it out while it still has a lot of residual heat left over. I've tried every which way, oil, etc., and I found this is what works best for me. May not be for you, but for me, this is best. For a steel that you're going to strike cold, I would rather have it a little soft than have it too hard. This tool doesn't have a very big throat opening. I designed it for what I need, but later in this video you'll see that I run into a problem because of this and how I overcome that. So let's test run this on a couple of things. I've switched to using this 1050 hammer on my guillotine tool, which I always used to do in the past, but I switched to using my YK30 steel, which is much harder, and I think that's another reason why my dies have been mushrooming much quicker. I used to always advocate for using a soft hammer on top tools, but I got away from that. 
I need to give a big shout out to two gentlemen for their recent donations. They are Rick Bosch, he became my newest Patreon supporter, and Billy Krieger. Folks like you are keeping the channel alive. Thanks very much. So far, I gotta say that I do like the beefier dyes. So, time to make something that I sorely need. A uh, handled fuller with about a three quarter inch radius. Foiled by my own guillotine tool. Fear not, I've always got a way. Like this, I'm much more happy with the striking ends. Plus, using my softer hammer does help. Thanks for sticking through the infomercial, and now back on to finishing up the handle fuller. So it took me about five minutes to dress this out. Should work just right for what I need. You might recall I did the twist on this piece a few videos back now I'll use this as a handle. I gotta say that sometimes when I watch my own videos back, I seem to do some things in a pretty silly way. Make it work, but a little bit silly sometimes. And I know I've said this before, when in doubt, beat the piss out of it.
So this is exactly why I'm making this tool, so I don't have to grab any odd piece of round to act as a top fuller. You might have seen me make this smaller radius one a few months back. Now I've got this larger one, which will be perfect for what I need. No more fooling around with three quarter inch odds and ends. Thank you to all my friends. We've got a lot more fooling around to do.